Welcome back, and I hope you're ready for some super heroics, as Peter Gray has found his true superpower of just having stiletto distract men. And that's kind of the extent of it, I suppose. Well, it's not the only one, I suppose. I, he also uh, he also stole this clock. Like, that one guy dropped a clock, and then Peter picked it up. He took it. He's on his way to becoming a true superhero, the guardian of Noctropolis. Anyway, we're at this construction site. You might remember that we were investigating Cygnus construction for some reason. We don't really have a reason. It's just the only thing we can do at the moment. So we're going to look around, see what we can find. Secured by metal bands, a pallet of bricks rests upon the equipment lift. But is that of interest to us? Fed by a garbage chute from above, the bin is filled with a variety of construction trash. The receptacle appears to be made of sectional sheet metal. I don't know if that's relevant to us, though. Filled with shards of broken glass, a metal bucket rests near the edge of the second floor. That seems dangerous. It's just a bucket full of broken glass near the, e near the ledge. See, someone should move that. The weighted multi-head hoist swings from cables to connect that connect to a crane high above. A single incandescent work light flares from its place on the tower. Valves and other controls crowd the top of the large upright compressor tank. Electric generator dutifully awaits to provide power as required. Oh, well, can we do something with the generator? It won't move. Can I open? It doesn't open. Can I get? I can't take it. Hmm. I don't think there's anything here that I can actually use. Is there any place I can go? Oh, let me. Can I get the bucket of glass? I can't reach it. It didn't say no. It didn't say I can't take the bucket of broken glass. It just says I can't reach it from here. So how do I get there? Maintaining the bulwark of the tower structure, the concrete support silently endures its burden. Hmm. Let's see, is there any place I can go? Like, down there is the exit. It's back where the guard is. I don't think there's another exit from this screen, however. It doesn't really seem like it. Uh, is there something here? Like, it's red? Oh, a glass cutter. A metal glass cutter rests on the waterlogged wood, carelessly left behind by an absent-minded worker. Well, time for Dark Shear to do what he does best. He's gonna steal this. You'd think that our utility belt would have something like that already. A metal glass cutter used to large, cut large planes of window glass. Can we think of any glass that we could cut? I can't use the glass cutter here. I wonder if that's the only thing I need to get from here. And then I need to go somewhere else and use the glass cutter. Well, let's just click around. Yeah, there's this lift. It affords access to the tower's second floor. But how do we get on this lift? Can I get on it? Oh, okay. I can just climb on it. All right, Peter Gray actually doing some some ath something athletic. He's pulling himself up onto this ledge, onto this lift. I didn't think he had it in him. Can you stand on this? I'm already there. That's true. Um, move. All right. Good job. We did it. Why did I... Maybe I needed to get rid of that to move the lift, possibly. <laughs> We're just here superheroing around, vandalizing a construction site. You don't need to worry about it. To their credit, the metal bands held the pallet together. Um, okay, are there controls? A small motor used for raising and lowering the lift. Okay, it's just it's just on the um left side. All right, this bucket of glass is ours. Come to daddy. We carefully pick up only one shard of broken glass. A sharp shard of glass. 
Can I use it? No. Can I use the glass cutter? No. What if I look at this bucket now? Same thing. Can I move the bucket? Kicking the bucket would do you little good. I guess that's true. All right, well, we, we got somewhere. We got to the second floor. Let's look around. But I wonder if there's anything here that we need or if the glass is the only thing that we need. Does, I don't see anything. Of course, sometimes there can be like little details here and there. Can we like interact with the eye beam? No, it won't. So I don't th don't think there's I don't see anything here. Well, I guess we could always come back here if we need to. <clears throat> Might as well just save just in case. So I guess we can just get off. Is there anything we need? Can we just pick this up? Probably. No, we cannot. We cannot take the bricks. Uh, I guess let's go. So we got two items. We got a glass cutter and we got a shard of broken glass. And now we're back here. Um... Listen, I can't help you. You'll have to talk to Sam Jenkins to get clearance to come on this side. Well, I guess we don't need the clearance after all. What's going on? How's it, how's it been doing? How you doing, Stiletto, talking with this fine guard? Don't look at me. You're the city's new champion. I don't think there's anything behind him. Well, I mean, there's the phone, but could we use the phone? Um, get phone. No, we cannot get the phone. There's notices. No, it doesn't seem... It seems like anything just says we shouldn't do it. But I don't know if this is something we would need to do to, be, to begin with. All right, let's go, Stiletto. I guess we're done here. Maybe? I'm not sure. It doesn't look like anything new has appeared. There's Mausoleum. I don't suppose the priest is here. It's kind of weird that the priest just vanished. Yeah, he's not here. I, I don't suppose he's in the... No, there's no one there. All right. There's Shadow Lair. Doesn't seem like there's really anything to do in Shadow Lair, though. Hey, rookie. Shadow Lair belongs to you now. It's your call, hero. Well, I certainly earned it. Uh, yeah, there's the tech, there's this place, the burned down site, in which we can talk to Don Knotts over here. Is there something else I can do for you? Um, and I don't think he, I don't think he's able to tell us any more, any additional information. There was, of course, uh, the neon noose down there. I don't think there's anything here. Like, in this screen that we need to get. We could all- we could always go back to the Neon Noose. So what could we do with a glass cutter and a shard of broken glass? Hi, do you want this glass cutter? What about the shard of broken glass? You do not- you do not. Do you want anything else? Uh, and then we just, I guess when we're done with the conversation options, we just get like these, uh, being able to ask about, you know, people and places in general.
And it's the same thing at the Bornick Mansion. Uh, after we exhausted conversation with the widow, I mean, I guess we never asked to come to go in. We could do that. I don't know if that leads to anything, but we could ask if we can come in. Are you insane? I'm going to call the police. I was insensitive. Exactly. What can I help you with, Mr. Gray? Why don't I come inside and tell you? I'm afraid that's out of the question. Now please leave. Okay, she does not want us to come inside. So we will leave. And the only other conversation option that we could have would just be to ask her about the various things. Again, people and places. So we know about that already. There's Cygnus Construction. Uh, I didn't really look around the outside, did I? What about this manhole? Manhole grants entry to the city sewers. Stiletto, do you want to go into the sewers? Oh, can we? I can't get a good grip on it. All right, it looks like I can. I just need a tool to open this. I don't... I mean, a, gla a shard of glass is not going to do it. Neither is a glass cutter. No. I don't think I have anything that can open up this uh, this manhole cover. But I, I'm, I guess going into the sewers is a thing we will do at some point. Cascading down the stepped granite platform, an illuminated fountain adds ambiance to the building's front. Sculpted and plated with gold, the enormous swan symbolizes the constellation Cygnus. Offensive wrought iron shaft surrounds the lamppost. Intent, up intent upon challenging the night itself, Noctropolis City rises defiantly. You know, someone had a lot of fun writing the, uh, the descriptive text for this game. Um... I don't suppose I can get this. Oh, am I going to get it? Oh, okay. I'm va um, my vandalizing continues. A, sha a shaft of rusty wrought iron. Several weld marks indicate that it has been used several times. All right, let's use it. You know, I'm just going to say that if. We're a real superhero. We really should have our own set of special tools that can handle these things without vandalizing public property. I don't know. All right, you first, Stiletto. <laughs> I'll stay here and watch your back. Oh, she's not coming down into the sewers. Okay, it's actually not sewer in here. It's just a furnace. I mean, that's pleasant. Glowing with ardent intensity, the enclosed inferno sears the air with heat. The face of the metal panel displays several pressure gauges and related control switches. A number of display gauges and relay switches are located on the panel's face. Occluded by a hinged metal panel, the channel conveys trash and debris to the chamber floor. An ugly pile of trash clutters the floor beneath the garbage chute. Formation seams mark the dirty cement in a pattern of linear ridges. And, uh, you know, we already saw the ugly pile of trash. Enclosed by a thick metal grate, the circular opening accesses the city water system. Can we open that, I wonder? Soiled by black patches of ashen dust, the metal coffer stands empty of coal. Small fragments of coal litter this chamber cement floor. Oh, can I get them? I cannot take. Is there like a red thing on the wall here? A circular red sticker cautions against extreme settings on the steam pressure relays. Okay. Rendered in the traditional caution motif of orange and black, the arrow seems to indicate the direction reclaimed steam flows. So, this way... An apparent afterthought, the enormous pipe transcends the furnace chamber at an elevated height. A flexible conduit provides oxygen to feed the furnace's intense combustion. Formed in a quarter circle, the arch affords questionable support to the structure overhead. 
Is there like a door on the on the front of this? A sliding iron door accesses the flaming belly of the furnace. Can I open? Sure, why not? We know what what what, what we know what we're doing. Mhm. Mm Do I want to burn something? Um, I mean, I don't know why I'd want to burn any of these things. Let throw the scrap of lace in there. No. Um, can I use the controls? Hold on. You hesitantly flip a few of the switches, and seeing no discernible difference in the gauge's readings, flip them back. Same thing. As soon as you lift the door to the chute, the stench that fills the room causes you to instant regret. You close the door. I, too, instant regret. Can I open this? Mm, the grate is secured by some unknown mechanism. Alright, so we can open the door, but why do we need to open the door? Can we go inside? No, you cannot. Um, can we get fire? We cannot take that. Um, I mean, might as well just try one at a time. How about my gold token? Nope. My lottery letter? No. What about the newspaper? Mm-mm. The detonator? No. A liquid dark grenade? Uh-uh. Glass cutter? No. Glass? No. Elevator pass? No. And clock, no. Okay, just to make sure you never know what might work. What about on the floor here? Film of soot and dirt. Can I get the film of soot and dirt? I cannot. Um, can we t pick up the garbage? No, I cannot. Can't take the debris. There's, like, something standing against the wall, but it doesn't seem that counts. Can't take rubble. Can't take the coal bin. Can I get in the coal bin? I cannot. Is there any other, like, exit from this room? Doesn't seem like it. Alright, so we found this door that leads down to the sewers, but it's locked by an unknown mechanism. We found this furnace. Right, the exhaust goes up. F this duct feeds oxygen to the furnace. We saw this arrow. Saying the steam flows this way. We saw this sticker that said, uh, Do not use the extreme settings on the steam pressure relays. Use conduits. So, uh, we found a new room, but I'm not seeing anything to really do here, unless there's, like, something really small on the screen. I mean, I guess there's no way to close the, um... We opened it. I guess we can't close it. So maybe whatever it is we need, we don't have it. Again, uh, just... There's always the possibility there's something small on the screen that I just am not seeing right now. But I feel like I've clicked on most everything that stands out. Hmm. So maybe whatever it is we need, maybe it's not here at the moment. And that could certainly be. So let's just go to the ladder. All right. At least we found a new room. Uh, that's something we should keep in mind for if we find some sort of tool that seems like it would work there for the time being. Why don't we go inside Cygnus? Alright. 
can we go through these doors? Yeah, we can just go in. The doors that we already opened, we can just go in. There's no secretary, so... This guy is still unconscious? Rendered unconscious by Stiletto, Leon remains motionless. Does he have any tools? Oh, look at this mouse. No, that, that just keeps moving. What, he's drying his laundry. Okay. We could try to take his laundry. You just you disregard the distasteful urge to fondle Leon's damp laundry. No, don't resist the urge. Uninterested in the collection of junk food garbage, you determine to ignore the debris. Uncertain where to relocate the lamp, you reconsider the passing notion. You can't take that. You can't take that. Leon? You can't take Leon. The chair? No. Um... The AC... No, you cannot take the AC unit. I'm not seeing any items around that we could get. Can't take that AC unit. Um... You'd think that Leon might have tools with him, but it does not seem like he does. Not seeing any tools around in this room, so... I don't think there's anything. Can we use, like, the shard of glass on Leon? No. What about the glass cutter? Cannot. How about the clock? We cannot. Alright, so I don't know if there's actually anything else we need to do in this room. Doesn't seem like it. And of course, uh, there's this guy. I assume he is still impatient and running out of time. Yep, there he is. What do you think about this glass cutter? No. But, uh, what do you think about this, uh, shard of glass? No? Okay. Can I open your globe? It does not open. Okay. Did you need anything else? I was wondering about your secretary, Wanda. Is she seeing anyone seriously right now? What do I look like, a dating service? You want a girlfriend, Buster? You ask her yourself. I like that he called us Buster. Um, Place on the globe's equatorial rim, a stained coffee cup awaits use. Can I take your cup? Reluctant to offend Jenkins, you choose to relieve the contents of his office alone. Hmm, I don't think there's anything here. There are the plans, but... Do we need the plans? I mean, we can't take them right in front of him, obviously. And I guess we could... visit the CEO again. For whatever reason. Oh, right, right, right. We use the pass card first. Okay. We only know one code, and that is to take us to the 99th floor, where the CEO is. She's still here. How did you get in here? She forgets once again how we got in here. I took the elevator. I guessed as much. How did you circumvent the access code? It doesn't seem like this conversation is different. Ah, yes. Am I to understand that you're the city's next dark share? What about it? I, th I think that we've already done all of the options. My responsibility is to construct the building according to precise plans. Whatever the owner does with his building is his business. Yeah, he does. She will not tell us who the owner is. From several sources. I don't ask questions as long as the money continues to flow. It is not my position to be curious. Now please excuse me, I have work to do. I doubt there's anything in this office that we could take. It doesn't really look like it. Right, right, right. Pass card, pass card.
Maybe we'll find another code at some point to go to another floor. All right, travel. All right. We could try Main Street. Is there anything else here? Doesn't seem like it. What do you need now? All right, we could just ask about things. Go to the Hall of Records. See if maybe there might be any options. What else can I do for you? No, no new options right now. All right. I don't... I mean, the mausoleum is still someplace we can go to, but... I don't know if we could actually do anything here. But they, they still do let us go here. We cannot open. But we can open the the manhole cover. But is there anything else in here? I mean, I don't think this place has changed. There's the diary, of course. It would be neat if there was an, another entry into the diary that took place after we used the holy water on her. There is not, though. There is not. Um, does not... Actually, is there something on the floor there? No. No, there's not. There's not. All right, so there are basically two areas that could, that might have new things, but we don't know. One is that sewer area at Cygnus Construction. The other is Sunspire Tower. Can we talk to this guy, by the way? Regarding you with obvious suspicion, the man glances at the guard, then returns to his work and ignores your presence. Can we just walk in here without distracting the guy? Okay, good. Like, st Stiletto is just going to do her thing. The guard, I think, is now in a state of perpetual distraction. So, we don't have to worry about that. Alright, it didn't seem like there was anything else to see, really. Um, of course, we, f we found that we could do this. And then we found that we could do this. I don't think this goes any higher. Yeah, this just gives access to the tower's second floor. It doesn't go any higher than this. And then there's this... There's this bucket. We got the glass already. Can't use it, though. Glass cutter? Can't use it, though. Clock? No. Liquid dark grenade? Uh-uh. So... We found two items here. Items that have no apparent use right now. Are there any other exits off of this screen? Doesn't seem like it. Just going to start clicking on this floor, the second floor, to see if anything comes up that says, hey, there's a thing here. It's like, okay. I don't really see a thing here, but... An unfinished interior wall indicates one of the Sun Spire's multiple elevator core shafts. It says core, an elevator core shaft, not an elevator. I don't suppose there's anything we could do with that. doesn't open move 
The second floor will not move. Trash get gets sent down from above. Could we do anything with that chute? Or this hoist? Oil-soaked telephone pole stands next to the site office. Overhead line provides temporary telephone service to the site construction office. Can we go to that? No. 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 Can we move anything? None of these things are moving. So yeah, so... We made it up to the second floor, but it doesn't seem really like there's anything here at the moment. And I can't do anything else with this bucket. So maybe there's just nothing for me to do right here. I could look at other things. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can use that generator. generator does not open and my items cannot be used get in the garbage dark shear we cannot we cannot open the tank all right I, I really don't think there's anything here at the moment There is a delivery truck here. Sign mounted to its side, reach Central Park Greenhouse. Can I get in the truck? I cannot. Hmm. Can I open truck? We will not. We cannot steal the truck. Well... We haven't heard about a Central Park greenhouse. Listen, I can't help you. You'll have to talk to Sam Jenkins to get clearance to come on this side. I'm going to assume that the guard really is not going to do anything. Like, there's no progress there because we don't need Sam Jenkins to get clearance. We already got clearance due to Feminine Wilds. So I'm going to guess the guard's role in this is done. I'm going to assume. because you would think there would be something new there, but there wasn't. I wonder if we could ask about the greenhouse. What else can I do for you? All right, let's see if it was added to the list. Oh, but Central Park Greenhouse was added to the list. A city-owned facility, the function of which is to keep as many plants alive as possible until the day the clouds disperse and sunlight can once again reach the ground. Well, that seems like a, a worthy purpose. I don't suppose we can find out where it is. There, yeah, okay, we now know where it is. Location has been unlocked. What do you think about this, Stiletto? Don't look at me. You're the city's new champion. But I'm scared. Okay. We can get that lift to provide access to the greenhouse interior. Double doors mark the greenhouse's entryway. Defined by mullions and panels of curved glass, the illuminated semicircle dome crowns the greenhouse structure. You love that MIDI hooting instrument. Why was that used so much? Positioned below an overhead spotlight, the bush has been carefully tailored into a column. 
Parked against one of the greenhouse receiving doors, you recognize the delivery truck from the Sunspire construction yard. Alright. Can we open these doors? It's locked tight. What about this door? That one's locked. What about this truck? That doesn't open. Hmm. Stiletto. Seduce the door. Oh, wait. I have a glass cutter. More vandalism of city property by our hero. That's right. That's... Look, we don't have to worry about that. Someone else can fix that. Well, it's pretty in here. Uh-oh. There's someone in here. This is like this... Giant mutant vines pick you up as thorns emerge from the vines, piercing the shade skin suit, injecting you with its deadly venom. Uh-oh, we have a time limit. I'm glad you finally made it. I've got much better things to do. Egads, it's Green Thumb, one of Darkshear's most green enemies. What could a sick mutation like you have to do? Ah, uh, mutation. One of my favorite words. You know, not anybody can mutate plants. That's what makes me special. What's so special about you? Look around you. No one but I could have created so impressive an army. Before you can control their cells, you must first break their spirit! I have to go now. I have a date with a hat. Do you enjoy the opera? Tonight I'll be singing a tale called Next. Rather entertaining story. I do wish you could make it. <laughs> Applause for the performance of the actor playing Green Thumb. It's inspirational. Can't do anything right now. I guess I have to wait for him to leave. All right, uh, Stiletto. Your desperate calls fails to rouse Stiletto from her insentient condition. She's unconscious. Uh-oh. With Stiletto unconscious, Peter Gray is going to have to act on his own. Is that possible? Let's look at Stiletto. Stiletto lies unconscious from the crushing blow delivered by Green Thumb's creations. As you continue to strive for freedom, you notice that a steady stream of your blood is dripping with measured regularity into the dirt. The interior pathways are lined by a diverse variety of exotic blossoms. The floor of the greenhouse is covered by rich, loamy soil. Hey, okay, look at the vines. No. Okay. We have to reach into our utility belt and uh, use the shard of glass? No. Liquid Arc, go! Liquid Arc grenade made everything dark. That worked. Wow, we actually used a superhero tool, uh, but the time is still going down. Get a stiletto. You gather Stiletto in your arms and stumble toward the exit. Every breath is a struggle as your heart beats faster and faster, pumping green thumbs, veggie venom through your body. You won't last much longer. All right, we got to go and bathe in the liquid dark. Well, I mean, let's not, let's not hang around. Let's head back to Shadow Lair and take a bath. It's still going down. Let's go into this. There we go. You immerse yourself in the cool liquid as the darkness surrounds you. You enter a state of drug-like euphoria. We've seen this. Somewhere in the back of your mind, you remember that the liquid dark is restoring your health and recharging the nitroglyph and liquid dark grenade. There we go. So, uh, Stiletto, I don't think, was poisoned. So, she's fine. She just was knocked out, is all. You know, just a little concussion. Just a little. Um, oh, actually, let's, um, let's talk to Stiletto and see if she has any thoughts about that. Hey, rookie. Shadow no, she doesn't. Now. It's your call, hero. 
Well, I mean, fortunately, Green Thumb told us where P was going. Uh, let's go to City Hall and find out where this opera house is. All right, things are picking up. Action is happening. Like, we we actually used one of Dark Shear's superhero tools. We're, like, on our way to becoming a real superhero. What else can I do for you? Let's see. I'm looking for an opera. Next? Yeah, opera next. What? How is it possible that the Hall of Records does not know about this? I thought they knew about everything here. Alright, does the newsie know about it? What do the streets have to tell you about the what opera? Hmm, the streets do not know. Let's head back to the greenhouse. Oh, okay. It's just flat out telling us you don't need to go back in there. All right, so priest probably still not here, but you know, let's just make sure. I wonder if the priest just is out of the story at this point. I can wonder if he shows up again. Uh, let's see. Mausoleum? No. The Shadow Lair? No. Incarnate? Mmm. Sunspire. Cygnus? Main Street? Bornick? Well, surely the, the high-class widow is going to know all about the opera? Are you insane? I am insane, yeah, yeah. Accept my apology. Um, can you tell me about the opera? No, she does not know about the opera. Hmm. What could this mean? All right. Um, what about the CEO? Maybe the CEO knows about the opera. Just casually, you know, just casual conversation. Asking her what she thinks about the opera. How did you How did I get in here? Took the elevator. I Access code. Last Inspire Tower. No, doesn't seem like. Does not seem like we're going to talk to her about that. Hmm. All right. I guess let's leave. We're not getting anything from this. But you would think that if this opera actually existed, that there would be people that would actually know about it. <laughs> There's no response when I talk to the chair. Did you need anything else? Sir, could you tell me what you think about the opera? Wish I could help, y'all. Sorry. He does not know about the opera. Um, what about the guy who's drowning? Well, what about Don Knotts? Maybe he, maybe he might know about the opera. Maybe he's into that. Know anything about the opera? Nope, he does not. Okay. What about the guy at the at the club? At the strip bar? Just drinking. Uh hello. Do you like the opera? Do you want anything else? I want the opera. Tell me about the opera. He hasn't the faintest idea. Hmm. Oh wait. Opera house is a separate option. Okay. So we got two options added to our thing. One is Opera Next, and the other is Opera House. So let's ask where the Opera House is, and surely the Hall of Records will know about that. Opera House. The City Opera House hasn't been used for several years, with the exception of one or two independent productions. How strange. Anything else on this? 
I don't think there is. Still does not know about Opera next. All right, so now that he's, he's told us that... Okay, it's now appeared. It's here. Oh, that's, uh, that's quite a poster. Why don't we save here? Let's look around. Sporting a top hat, a skull and crossbones advertises the theater's production of necks over a seeping blood flow. An image of the villainous top hat squeezing streams of blood from her hands occupies a banner advertisement which covers a portion of the theater's facade. And of course, we, we do know about top hat. She was one of the villains. She was the only surviving villain from the introductory comic book. So we have seen her in action. Mounted atop the theater's awning, the quintet of open channel neon letters advertise the opera. Classical Victorianism encompasses the theater, theater architecture. I'm sure that this is what Peter Gray is thinking in his mind. Seemingly asleep, the parked truck is illuminated from above by streetlight. Characterized by decorative rail work, the oxidized metal streetlight features a trio of downlights. Alright, there's clearly someone standing here. A hooker. Clad in high heels and black vinyl overcoat, a prostitute patiently waits for customers under the streetlight. Well, let's talk to her. Hey, honey. Looking for a party? Only if that party involves plants and tentacles, my dear. It, look, we, something that happened earlier, you wouldn't understand. That depends. Where is this party? Oh, the party's right here. So, what do you think, handsome? It's a stiletto. Stiletto, she called me handsome. I think we could be friends. What's your name? The name's Evelyn, honey. Not that that matters. For the right price, I'll answer to anything. I'm not one of your customers, Evelyn. I'm the new Darkshear, if you couldn't tell from the costume. Honey, what could be more important than scoring with me tonight? Look, I'm going inside the Opera House to face off with Top Hat. Things could become dangerous. For your own safety, you should leave. Sweetie, I was working these streets long before you showed up. I can take care of myself the mean streets next to the opera house. You don't want to meet the customers who come into this opera house to watch the opera. My apologies. I can see you're doing just fine on your own. It's called survival, honey. Why don't you take your attitude up the street? Let a girl make a buck. Stiletto. You have anything? You want to do this seduction thing? Don't look at me. You're the city's new champion. I guess not. All right, let's uh, go inside. Oh, there are people tied up in the audience. I don't think that's how that trick works. I require the assistance of a volunteer from the audience. Stiletto, dear. Thank you for volunteering. <laughs> how dependably predictable you are. Shall we dance, then? Darkshire made a mistake not killing a bitch like you at the amusement park. It's time I corrected that. My stiletto, what a wicked tongue. But then, you never were one for tactful phrasing, were you? Oh 
don't know. Ah, oh, my dear Darkshire, I'm so pleased you could attend tonight's performance. It would seem that I have need of your services. I require the lens from the telescope at the observatory. In exchange, I am generously offering the lives of my audience and, of course, sweet stiletto. Hey, she called us Darkshire. Finally, recognition. Someone's taking us seriously. All right, she wants the lens from a telescope. Why do you want the lens? Oh, Darkshire, it's simply none of your business. Your only concern is that by delivering it, you'll free your companion and these good people. Hmm. All right, I'm going. You better honor this deal, Top Hat. If you hurt any of these people or harm one hair on Stiletto's head, more than you've already harmed, you'll regret it. Oh, I wouldn't worry about her hair. I'm sure she bleaches it. We got a good look at what appeared to be... I think Peter has some sort of ponytail? It's not exactly. It's like tied up tighter than that, I think. I'm not exactly sure what it is he has. But I guess... Uh, ma'am? Ma'am, do you know where the um, observatory is? Couldn't get me out of your head? <laughs> That's all right, honey. I have that effect on men. The merchandise is still for sale. If you've got the cash. I don't know if we have cash. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I, I don't... Well, how about... What? How about this? How, what about... Okay, um... I have this... This neat clock. If that's all you've got, forget it. That wouldn't get you a back rub. Yeah, I, I can understand that. Um... Couldn't get me out of your... Like, I assume that the gold coin is going to be used for something important, but I have this gold token. If that's all you've got, forget it. That wouldn't get you a back rub. Yeah, I don't think I really have much of value. Um. Anyway, I need to. I, I need to go. I need to go to the observatory and find a lens. Uh, here. Okay, it's already on the map. Let's, uh, let's save. And I think we're just going to take a little bit of a break and be back in a few minutes as we just, we try to absorb and digest the plot moments that have happened and, uh, just hope and pray that Stiletto is unharmed. Be back in a few minutes. Egads, we have to hurry because Stiletto is in danger. We have to steal a thing. Let's look at this camera. A predefined sweep pattern orients the animated surveillance camera in a constant view of the gateway. Well, can I use my liquid dark grenade? No? Do you think that would like blind the camera? Or can I just go when it's like not looking? Look, I'm dark sheer. Oh no, imprisoned! The police take you into custody, ultimately placing you within the medium security wing of the Noctropolis City Penitentiary. There, you have the misfortune of attracting the attention of a depraved inmate ringleader who fancies you as his new dance partner, among other things. Oh, we actually got a game over. I guess this is the beginning again? And so it begins. Yeah, this is the opening cutscene. We got, like, here's the, the succubus. Um, top hat's over here. And then over here is green thumb. We have not seen the Drelmer yet, or the doctor. And this is Flux in the middle. Have your That's right. So, good thing we saved, because I guess if you get a game over, uh, it just pops you back at the beginning. Okay, so... Is there anything I can use? Glass? No, probably not. What about the clock? No? Oh, can I drape the scrap of lace on it? I think that's a good idea. So, can I just, like, walk up to it? Uh, 
Even if you were able to reach the camera, such close proximity to it would no doubt alert security within. Okay. Well, I tried walking up to it just, like, when it turned away, so I do not have enough time to get there, I don't think. You would think the answer would be to use the liquid dark grenade. You would think. It's, it, you throw darkness with it. You would blind the camera. Camera does not open. Can I get the camera? I cannot. Um, what about the thing it's on? Obviously unmanned, the illuminated station is nevertheless equipped with a roof-mounted surveillance camera. Can I open the booth? An ominous lock on the door denies you entry. Do I have any items that could be used with that? Can I throw the detonator at it? No. Um... Can I use this clock? No. A barrier of chain link cordons the observatory's perimeter. The observatory's front entry glows with interior illumination. Untimely, constru untimely constructed to chart the stars just preceding the great disasters. The Noctropolis City Observatory now stands useless. Hmm. Can I, like, walk? I can't go there? So I can't actually walk anywhere in front here. I can walk in there, but the camera will see me. And I will be arrested. Um, my inventory does not seem to be of use at the moment. What's this? I think there's a light. The roof-mounted floodlight illuminates the ground near the security booth. Okay. So you would think that you, you we want to take out that light. I can't take the floodlight. Can I open the floodlight? Can I move the floodlight? And use it- I can't use anything on it because it's just use and then nothing. Um... So how do we take out this floodlight? That's- It's gotta be what we have to do. Is there an item? that we could have gotten in another screen. Like, if I could just, like, get a rock. Just, like, pick up a rock and throw it at the floodlight. It probably... That's, that seems like that would work, but... That is not what we're doing. Because there... Th I don't think there are rocks. Pitted and cracked, the asphalt seems poorly cared for. About, yeah, chain link. You wear the uniform of Dark Shear, protector of Noctropolis. doing this thing again, where I'm clicking on everything to see if I see anything of use. Well, that there's nothing that I can pick up right here. If I try to walk in front of it, I'll get arrested, and it's pointing out that there is this floodlight. So I gotta take it out, because it's illuminating this. I need something to take it out. So I don't have it, clearly. Can we go back to the Opera House? Yeah, we're just going back in. It would seem that you're somewhat more dense than I imagined, and certainly more than you look. To compensate for your obvious disability, I shall speak more slowly. Our agreement is quite simple, actually. To allow your dear companion and these people in the audience the continued privilege of breathing, you must return with the lens in your possession. Now, don't be such a silly noodle about this, Doc Shear, and do not allow your moronic dim-wittedness to try my patience further. I know. I just wanted to know if you have any advice about the 
security camera in front. Hmm, do you know about the security camera? Couldn't get me out of your head? <laughs> That's all right, honey. I have that effect on men. The merchandise is still for sale. If you've got the cash. I don't have the cash. Well, maybe I'd like to see what I'm paying for. Oh, we already saw that. We already saw what we would be, we would be paying for. So, what do you think, handsome? It looks like you take good care of yourself. Yeah, I sprinkle bee pollen on my cornflakes every morning. Look, Romeo, have we got a deal or what? Hmm, bee pollen on the cornflakes. I should try that. If I do this, I want to go someplace private. All right. But first, show me the color of your money. Now, <clears throat> maybe you don't recognize the suit. I'm the new dark shear. I'm a big, I'm kind of a big deal. Sweetie, I've done them all. Suits and capes included. If you think masquerading as dark shear is going to get you a freebie, you're dead wrong. Even the real dark shear did not get a freebie. Um, so we don't have any kind of money. Like, I don't actually know where this would lead to if we did have money, but we do not. Do you know anything about, like, breaking a security camera? I, it doesn't seem like we can talk to her about that. The only thing that we can seem that we can talk to her about is if we have money to pay for her services, which we don't. There was the greenhouse, but it said that we didn't need to go in there. We still do not. But is there anything on the outside? Oh. The truck's open. Inverently hung, the shovel's dirty blade indicates recent use. The hoe hangs from the rack by its blade. Traces of soil clog the small spaces separating the rake's teeth. A metal encasement covers the truck's inset wheel wells. A bottle of quick grow solution. A sack of vine seeds. The empty metal bucket probably has a hundred different uses. You could, yeah, you could use a metal bucket so many different ways. The metal barrel contains liquid fertilizer. Finished with a metal tip, the rubber hose allows fertilizer to be sprayed on command. Um, alright, I guess we'll just try to take things. I cannot take these. Oh, I took something. And that. Can't take that. What do you mean? We just said there's like a hundred different uses for a metal bucket. It's like the most useful thing of all. We can't think of any use for it, though. Okay. Um, let's see what we took. A container labeled Quick Row Solution. The instructions say pour directly on seed, followed by the initials GT. Green thumb. Sack of seeds. A sack containing seeds for a variety of clinging vine, vine, the kind that can destroy brick wall in only a few years. Hmm. So either we need to destroy a wall, or we need a vine to grow up a wall so we can climb it. Have we seen a wall that we need to climb? And it didn't seem like it was going to take us, it didn't seem like it was going to let us take anything else. Circular downlight illuminates the truck's bed. Seemingly impenetrable, the line of skyscrapers maintain their ranks up along the park's periphery. All right, I guess we can probably go. Um, I assume I don't need to go there. Also, still no reason to do that. All right, so let me just save that again. I got seeds. So I got them. All right, so is 
we can grow we can grow these vines anywhere. So is there anywhere we would need to grow some vines? I guess we could always go back to the um, observatory. We could always say, can I use these seeds? I can't. Okay. So I cannot use the seeds here. I don't see I don't see what use they would have here, but seeds? No. Can I climb the Sunspire Tower with these vines? Oh, I cannot go in there now because uh, Stiletto is not here to, to seduce. Seeds? No. No seeds. Uh, there is this sewer. Like, there's this down here. Seats? No, not here. And I, I'm sure the quick row solution is not going to work if I cannot put seeds down. I doubt the front of the building could use seeds. Seats? No. Main Street? Seats? No. What about Incarnate Technologies? Hello? Seeds? No. No seeds. No seeds are needed. Seeds? No, I cannot dip the seeds in the liquid dark. Does the cathedral need seeds? No? What about inside? Seeds? No. Useless. Mausoleum? Seeds? No. Let's go down to the succubus's den. Seeds? No. I, is that every place? That we might have tried every place at this point. Well, there's the Bornick Mansion. Seeds? No. Did not need seeds. Okay. Well, we found seeds and we found Miracle Grow, but it seems like it's pr we're pretty well establishing here that seeds are not needed unless we like use them in front of the greenhouse. I don't th I don't think I tried that, but see, no, no. Hmm. Well, at this point, I think I do need to open myself up to hints. And I did see someone suggest that there, we perhaps should go back to Shadow Lair uh, to get something else from there. Well, of course, we got the costume last time we were here. Uh, it was from here. With the contents gone, the compartment has sealed itself off. So I guess I cannot open that. Oh, wait. Is that a... that a thing? There's another thing there. The panel opens with the grinding sound of Shadestone. That was actually just a complete coincidence that I re noticed like there were little lines right there. Uh, look? The hollowed recess contains a black leather-bound book. The volume's cover is marked by the impression of an inverted triangle, otherwise known as a triangle. 
Along with the book, you see a powerful Noctroglyph with its ability to render us invisible. Well, how about that? Covered in sheer skin, the volume is entitled Do Doctrines of Noctromancy Mysteries of the Dark Sheer. That's, I mean, that's what I would call my book. Authored by a secret fraternal society named the Brotherhood of the Night, the majority of the text seems preoccupied with the relation of abstract metaphysics and a variety of hypotheses concerning the natural order of the universe and its governing laws. Your cursory review indicates that most of the theorems and philosophies are oriented toward night, and specifically darkness. Several times the book substantiates its arguments with extensive theoretical and empirical research. The research concerns the speculative existence of elementals, a race of immortal beings devoted to their perpetual perpetuation of natural phenomena such as light and darkness. I also like the idea that we're apparently reading this tome right now when Stiletto is in mortal danger. Additional discourse pursues the premise that elementals are divided into ordered group. How long did it take Peter to read through this book? Called patronage patronages. These orders are specifically associated with a respective aspect of nature. The, through an ultimate cataclysmic incarnation of a specified natural phenomenon called the quintessence, the elemental order initiates and maintains an interdependent reality. Through a distillation of a technology called Notromancy, a brotherhood of the night collectively devoted years of applied research and experimentation in an attempt to create a quintessence of darkness. Ultimately, they failed to produce a quintessence, but their years of effort yielded a powerfully intense distilled liquefied essence of darkness called Liquid Dark. <sighs> The book closes with an extensive summary delineating the particulars of an elemental philosophy concerning the Omniverse, a precept that the progressional destiny of mankind will ultimately include unification with the environment and the incorporation of properties of nature itself. <sighs> A special addendum is included after the formal closure of the book. The edition features a schematic illustration representing the components of the Dark Shear uniform. All of the articles are formed to some degree from a liquid arc dependent fabric named Shade Skin. In addition to protecting the individual wearing the suit, the shade skin assimilates darkness, rendering the individual nearly invisible at night or in dark environments. With the proper use of the noctroglyph, the wearer can be totally invisible for a short amount of time. Okay, apparently we missed something extremely important. Like, we, we found the suit and we thought that was all we needed, but no, we missed the tome of darkness that told us all of this information and uh well i don't see a noctroglyph in our inventory but maybe we just have it oh no 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 that's fine that's fine that's fine it's fine can we uh can we get okay we carefully remove the sheer skin tome and the noctroglyph here we go noctroglyph a dark sheer noctroglyph. According to the comic, when the glyph is used, it will render dark sheer nearly invisible in the dark by absorbing the light that would normally reflect. The glyph can also be recharged by immersion in liquid dark. And the tome? Covered in sheer skin. The volume is entitled Doctrines of Noctromancy, Mysteries of the Dark Sheer. Okay. Uh, can I, do I need to, like, charge it up? Mm-hmm. Okay, so hopefully it's all charged. I can't tell if it is or not, but I assume it is. Okay. So that was the that was like the puzzle piece that we needed. I'm not, you know, I'm just going to make a comment. I have no clearly I do not know what Dark Shear's powers are. Peter Gray does, though. Peter Gray reads Dark Shear. Peter Gray would have known that Darkshear possesses the Noctroglyph that renders him invisible, 
you'd think that Peter Gray would have noticed that he still had to find that. I'm just going to mention that. Peter could have spoken up at some point to say that he had not found the Noctroglyph yet, because I would not know about that. What do I know about Darkshear? We need to go to the observatory. Okay, now let's go to save. Save. Um... Okay. So, let us use the fantabulous Noctroglyph. The glyph activates your costume's liquid dark power, rendering you nearly invisible. If you want to call that nearly invisible, I guess we'll say that. You know, we, we, will, we will not call that nearly invisible. We would call that very visible, I would say. Okay. Framed and mounted for a display, the picture depicts a colorful stellar nebula. Resembling a leper, the foyer's wallpaper is torn and peeling from years of non-use and neglect. I mean, that's an odd comparison, Peter. Centered in the observatory's glass front's entrance, the double doors stand locked and closed. Oh, do we have our glass cutter? No, we don't have our glass cutter anymore. Time, nature, and indifference have been battered this section of wall into submission. The small cracks in the concrete wall and sidewalk are caked with dirt and weeds. So I don't. Doors locked tight. I don't think we can actually exit the screen. Oh, wait, of course. Seats? You plant your seeds in the crack and pour solution over them. Finally, seeds. Uh-oh, spotlights. People, there's high security at the observatory. People are always breaking in. There's something on the ground there. Its handle and blade marked by years of use, a screwdriver lays forgotten on the floor. Placed on the floor, the shape of the oil can spout echoes the angle of the giant telescope. And the telescope? Bracketed securely to the normal pedestal base, the reinforced support allows the telescope to pivot bi-directionally. Made from rusted sheets of corrugated metal, the booth encloses the dome's celestial door controls, as well as those for telescopic placement. A pair of wooden equipment crates are stacked near the stairway leading to the third tier. Enormously proportioned, the mechanical lift positions the observatory's viewing platform. Broken near the center, the link of chains serve to cordon off an equipment delivery access gap in the second tier railing. Well, we probably should save... Okay, let's steal some stuff, like a hero. Can we get that? Well, we were- we were caught. I can do this. Um, yeah, love that. Do we use the Noctroglyph again? No, Noctroglyph is gone from my inventory. Can I use the Liquid Dark Grenade? What am I going to do with that here? Hmm. That's a different message. So let's see. Do I actually need to time this this time? We pick up the screwdriver. A common flathead screwdriver. All right. So this time it's just wait until the timing is right. Now he's going to walk into that. Yeah. Oh, this is different. Venturing too close to the light, the guards spot you from their vantage on the catwalk above. They quickly capture you within the observatory. As a result of poor legal representation, you're ultimately imprisoned within the city penitentiary for a very long time. 
That must be an incredibly boring guard job. Who comes in here? Well, at least we were... We were able to get this, at least. Maybe I need to walk into a different position before getting the oil can. It could be. Okay. Is there anywhere else I can go? I mean, I kind of like we just walk over here. You want to? Oh, actually, I wanted to get the oil can, but there, there is this. Can I just get this though? I can't take the steps. I can't go there from there. All right. Is there something on here with me? Um, there's a log book lying on the platform. All right, get that book. You pick up the log book. Inside the log book, you find writings on the observation of many stars, especially in the constellation of Cygnus. There's also a strange series of numbers. Three two one eight two seven four nine three twelve six seven eight nine. All right. Can we use our screwdriver? Oh, we have the logbook in our inventory. Several rusty. Okay, we need the oil. We need to get that oil. Um. How how do I? Can I use the lift? Can I move the lift? Okay, there we go. Let me get this, once that goes away. Pick up the oil can. All right, use oil can. You apply the oil to the screws in the panel, hoping to eliminate any rust or loud squeaking noises. Would not want the guards to hear these loud screws. Let us use the screwdriver. Using the screwdriver, you loosen the bolts holding the cover in place, thereby giving you access to the lens. Oh, this is what we're yeah, this is what we're trying to get. You carefully remove the lens. All right, let's look at it. A large, very expensive convex lens from the eyepiece of a telescope. Um, let's just save at this point. Alright, let us move, um, yeah, let us move this. Platform descends. I don't, I don't, I, I'm gonna guess there's nowhere else here that we have to go. So let me just walk back over here. Uh, that's, I'm gonna walk in that, aren't I? Yep, I am. If only the Noctroglyph actually lasted more than a few seconds. We could just use our invisibility for this whole caper. Alright, so when they all go up is what I needed to walk over there. Not quite. Look, I'm not a superhero myself, but Peter could pick up the pace. You know? Like, he is a very relaxed pace here, I think. All right, then we want to go up to the door. Uh, that, I might, nah, I'm going to intersect that. I'll save at every step here. Oh, 
Okay. No? What? No, we weren't anywhere close to that light. We were out of there. Oh no, okay, we're starting from here. That's good. <sighs> it's the perfect crime, except we're a crime fighter. I can't go there. Can I travel? Good. Okay, I have the thing. Let's go to the opera house. Just out of curiosity, uh, are you interested in offering services for, like, this lens? If that's all you've got. No, she's not interested in the lens. Let's go in. Okay. Time for the showdown with Top Hat. Welcome back. I see that your mission was successful. Of course it was successful. Remember who you're dealing with. Oh, okay. Thank you so very much for your help with the lens. I just couldn't have managed without you. Well, I guess that we were just helpless against her. Damn you! We made a deal! Where's Stiletto? Temper? Temper? Now, as I recall, we agreed to a trade. The lens for Stiletto. I commend your integrity. You fulfilled your part of our contract admirably. It is regrettable that you've made this deal with a person who is completely untrustworthy. <laughs> What? Have we been tricked? No, uh -oh, our death timer has started. This seems to happen a lot. A perfect score. I got a perfect score. That's good enough for tournament play. Well, I'd best be leaving. Please. Feel free to stay and relax. By the way, is that bouquet of flowers? Or are you just happy to see me? At least the fire went out. Ah, I see. I can't believe we were tricked like this. How could the great dark shear be how could the great dark shear? be bamboozled in this way. Nice flowers. My wife used to grow some like those. Please help me. <laughs> what seems to be the trouble? Oh, sure. There! No, you're really cooking! N am I? That's not quite what I had in mind. I'm an old man. That's as good as it gets. You did fine, but I think I'm ready to get off now. Sure. You just had to ask. Oh, we were we've been stabbed so much. You slowly awake and realize the old man is gone. Top Hat's knives have pierced you deeply. The wounds will prove fatal without immediate attention. Top Hat is gone, and the bloody daggers before you serve notice that Stiletto is still missing. Well, all right, we do have a little bit of time at least. Can we pick up these daggers? Yeah, we, we can. Uh, let's see. Leather handled, well balanced throwing knives. Control box is the master electrical switch for all stage lighting located on the mezzanine. Stack of bricks. Trunk is a prop from a long forgotten production. script probably commem commemorates the opera's last production. Fitted with a brass lock, the wooden key box hangs over the stage manager's desk. 
Can we get box? Can't take that. Can't take that. Can't take that. No, no. Oh, I pick. I picked up a brick. Common building brick. Uh, can I open these? Locked. 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 That doesn't open. It's locked. Can I move anything? Move? Switch moves. Uh, switch moves. Okay. That won't move. Script is of no interest. That will not move. The examination reveals these would be genuine clay bricks. Not the fake bricks you expected in a theater. Can I go? You stand at the edge of the trap door and see that a platform has descended far below the stage. Yeah? So can I bring the thing up? No. When I use this, what did I see anything happen? Okay, those the lights turned off back there. So that's probably good. Um and this over here wooden key box doesn't say what's doesn't say what kind of key might be in there. Can I use brick? You might want... Okay, I guess I can, but um, I might want to close this first. For some reason? I don't actually know what I'm using the brick for. Use? Throwing the brick might be useful, but not from right here. All right, let's go over here and uh, use brick. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. I, I guess I see what that was. I, I was puzzled. Chipped and cracked, the room's drab plaster cannot help displaying its old wounds. A red vinyl makeup kit is situated near the dressing table's edge. Take? Your face looking a little dull. You obviously need the makeup kit. Kit containing various pieces of theatrical makeup, including eyeliners, blush powders, and heavy bases for covering up those unsightly blemishes. Can I use? No. Wait, what did that say? That's no use here. That's no use. Uh, let's see. Wrapped in a stained green cloth, the lid of the wooden jewelry box is unsecured due to a broken clasp. Open? Opening the box reveals various worthless costume jewelry. Get? Yeah, I grab. You grab the jewelry in a greedy, materialistic way, as opposed to any other way. Various gaudy costume jewelry, the kind you remember seeing worn by rap music stars. Uh, look. Switch that controls the platform's movement is suspended from the ceiling by thick cable. Moth-eaten and dusty, the collection of old costumes weighs most heavily in the middle of the rack. Take? No. Cannot take costumes. Move? Yes. Holding your breath against the dust, you part the row of costumes and push them toward the end of the rack. Your intrusion disturbs several clothes moths, which vacate the rack in a chaotic flurry. It also reveals a low door. Alright, open. Open. Go. Okay, look, there's a door. There's weapons up there. There's a boiler. Menacingly dominant, the monstrous galvanized shell of the theater's boiler sweats and hisses dangerously as it converts water into steam. That's some good writing. Lo located near the boiler, a can of dried paint is grouped with others like it. Do I take paint? You cannot pry the dried lid from the can. You cannot pull the paintbrushes free. I guess not. Painted to resemble marble, the cardboard pillar has been finished according to classical design. Oh. Flathead screwdriver. Let's get that. I already used my previous one. You can only use a screwdriver once, if you've never used one. It breaks after you use it. You'd think that some day, some one of these days, someone would invent a screwdriver that could be used multiple times, but hasn't happened yet. Um, is there something on this? Group with others, a flat has been leaned face forward against the brick wall. Can't go there. And pry the pins loose from the hinges on the door. Okay. 
Freshly mortared, a barrier brawl of wicks pr bricks prevents passage. Well, let's go anyway. We cannot move. You can't move the bricks with your bare hands. Open? No, we can't. Also, that was the use of the screwdriver, I guess, because it's gone from our inventory. Can I pick up the door? I cannot take the door. Um, jewelry, makeup, log, throwing knives, liquid dark, dark shear, shard of glass, elevator, clock, scrap of lace, detonator. Mm. No, because it's only a detonator, not a bomb. We need the rest of the bomb, I guess, but would there be such a thing here? Um, okay, looking around. The paint in black and coated in layers of the varnish. The wooden pedestal supports a similarly finished sphere. There's stuff up here, but obviously we can't go there. Can I go anywhere else? I'm not seeing any uh, prompts to go anywhere and it doesn't seem like there's anything else over here unless I can do something with that box move you can see that the twisted soggy wood of the crate would make it useful for nothing can I like move anything up there they're out of reach yeah I cannot take those um hmm what's this over here Oh, control wheel. Can I use that? No. Uh, move wheel. Move wheel. You turn on the high pressure hose. Yeah? No reason to turn it on. Okay, so that turned it on somewhere. Um, water line. Hose. Gathered like a snake awaiting its next meal, the water hose falls from the valve connection in a loose pile. Get hose? You pick up the hose and direct its powerful blast towards the newly built brick wall. Wow, that must be, like, extremely new. Like, in the last few minutes. Alright. We found the way out. Okay, where is... What is this? Uh... <laughs> Scourged by age and wear, the concrete foundation represents a bridge of transition between Noctropolis and the hostile domain of Subterranea? Is there an underground city beneath Noctropolis? The enormous concrete footing stabilizes a gigantic steel building brace. The art and glow and animated shadow play of a bonfire dramatically define the end of the landing. The rest of details of a leftover city clutter the cement foundations and footings. Alright, let's talk to whoever this is. A mean-looking gang. Let's talk to the gang. Nice outfit. Where do you think you're going, man? I'm very intimidated. Did you see anyone go through here? I'm sorry for all the blood, but I'm dying right now. Maybe. Maybe not. I saw them come this way. Did you? Then why are you asking us? We don't like to be lied to. Did I lie? Okay, I'm dead. Moving collectively, the gang of young ruffians surround you and attack like a pack of wild animals. Employing an arsenal of street weapons, they beat you to death. By firelight. I don't think I said anything to justify being beaten to death by ruffians. Maybe I should have offered to give them the stage jewelry. As we know... The we, we we know that rap artists like to wear the stage jewelry, so they probably would have wanted that. Oh well, we're dead, and uh, what, you know I'm I'm gonna say I'm still not really impressed with Peter Gray's performance as a superhero. 
I think probably we're going to say that this is going to be it for tonight. But let's think about what we did. So, we uh, finally found another villain. We found Green Thumb, in which we were attacked... Uh, and Green Thumb just got away effortlessly, but we fortunately we did use a Liquid Dark Grenade to get away. Um, we found the opera where we repeatedly um, off made offers to a to a prostitute, but we did not have any money. Um, in the opera, the villain Top Hat just knocked out Stiletto and told uh, told peter to steal something from from the uh, from the observatory steal some city property in exchange for stiletto's life so we did that and um then we we just got tricked and were put up on on a wheel and stabbed repeatedly with throwing knives and then we were bleeding to death and would have died right there if that old man straight out out of twin peaks didn't come by and let us out and then we were bleeding to death as we found our way out of the theater, only to run into a gang of a few te- of a few rough teens who proceeded to beat us to death. Like I said, I'm still not really not really buying Peter Gray as, as the new Dark Shear as of yet. M- maybe things will change. Maybe eventually he will impress us, but it hasn't happened yet. It has not. But if if any good thing did happen tonight, it's that we found the Noctroglyph. So Peter now has the full range of Darkshear's powers. And we found the Tome talking about all kinds of lore. Just all kinds, all kinds of Darkshear lore. We learned about it. So next time, we're going to continue on. Um, and I am going to offer this, this, these gang of teens, the fake, I don't know if it's fake jewelry, but they call it stage jewelry because the rap artists like it. So I'm going to give it to them and then they'll be our friend and then we'll be able to get away. Oh, and we found out there's like an underground city. There's, is there an underground city underneath Noctropolis? Cause that's what that seemed to be at, uh, at the end there. Maybe we'll find out more about the underground city of Subterranea next time. I don't know. We'll see.